All right, another Alabama barbecue review here. Uh, today I am at Butts to Go on 231 in Pell City, right near the little downtown area. Uh, it's actually in a Texaco station. Interesting, lot smokers out by the road. They're full on rolling. Um, somebody surprised somebody hadn't called the fire department, but they hadn't. Um, interesting, they don't make the sandwiches to order. They put the sandwiches inside like one of those little glass cases, like the kind that they put the slices of pizza in and you can go and, and pull one out. <clears throat> so I don't really know what to expect. I've never had a barbecue sandwich out of that kind of thing before, but I am willing to be surprised. I am absolutely willing to be shocked and awed by this sandwich today. Because you never know. You never know. So by now you should know the rules, but I always run over them. So we only do apples to apples. We only review pulled pork sandwiches. Not going around and talking about chicken, not going around and talking about ribs. If I was over in Memphis, West Tennessee, I'd be doing ribs. If I was down in Austin, Texas, I would be uh, doing brisket, but I'm not. I'm here in Alabama, and I'm looking for Alabama on a bun. And I'm going to as many of these joints as I can, along with my partner Jackie, of course. So those are the rules, and this is the sandwich. It actually, it looks pretty good. This looks like my kind of sandwich, actually. Um, and that's awesome, because I'm hungry, and I want it to be good. All right, so let's take a look here. No, uh, no pickle at all, and that's fine. Whatever you like. Can you see that big piece of uh, bark right up front? That's what I like. Minimal sauce. They didn't ask me if I wanted any uh, extra sauce. They didn't ask me if I wanted a napkin. Uh, they didn't even, well, she did ask me if I wanted a bag and I said, no ma'am, I'm good. I've got a bag in the car. Uh, so it's no frills. You're not gonna come here and uh, get any kind of service <laughs> other than self-service. And sometimes, man, you know, like I say, I, I am super willing to be, uh, to be excited about this sandwich but there's only one way to find out it's got really good smoke it's got good chew um, you can tell that it's been sitting in a in a um, in a warmer, uh, the color of the barbecue just isn't there. You can't really see the smoke line. Um, I think it's just been sitting in there for a little while. The bun is just a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't say stale. I don't think it's stale. It's just dried out a little bit. Um, The sauce doesn't really do a whole lot for it at all. But the smoke on that meat is right. The smoke on that meat is legit. If it hadn't have been sitting around, I'd definitely give it a better score. Um, and maybe, uh, I think that sauce could use some work too. But hey, this may be your favorite joint. You never know. It's not even much of a, uh, it's not even anything to really consider. This is a 71. This is 71 barbecue all day. If you're in the neighborhood and you're hungry, stop here and get you a barbecue. It's not bad, not great. Middle of the road, um, certainly passable. And like I say, fresh made with a, a sauce with a little bit more uh, of an opinion, you'd be on your way to the to the mid uh, to uh, you know maybe even upper 70s who knows like I say that the meat's really well done um, as always that's just my two cents and your mileage may vary worst fishing show ever